they want to keep the Middle East divided. They want to keep the Middle East fractured, the Muslim world fractured, because if the Arabs united, which is already difficult enough to do in the first place without the Americans or the British meddling or the French, but if... If there was a unified Arab bloc, and this has been attempted, you had Egypt and Syria, one country, not everyone liked that. Naturally, there were some disagreements, but, you know, just I'm, I'm talking about the, the goal here. The, the British and the Americans want to keep the Muslim world, the Arab world fractured. Because if you put them together, there was a unified Arab bloc, you would have over 300 million people in this, this bloc, in this nation, in this, this uh, union. Right? This would be one of the top three superpowers. In terms of economy, military, population, landmass, you can walk from Morocco to Saudi Arabia, right? It's one connected landmass, one common culture, one common language, one common history, even one common religion, of course. Although you have minorities like me, I'm Arab, Christian. But nonetheless, there is a, hu there's a harmony here. But who cut all these countries up after World War I? France and Britain, they came in and divided these countries. They put Israel there. And now today you have America is fulfilling the same role, making sure the Arabs stay divided. They hate each other. Saudi Arabia is doing this shit to Yemen. You know, uh, uh, Egypt and Jordan have ties with Israel. And it, it's just a whole fucking mess. They want to balkanize the region as much as they can to make sure there's no competition. Look at what China... China hasn't done shit to the Americans. They're just good. You know, they're, they're developing themselves and Biden is calling them a threat. This is how the Western world see other places. They see everything as a threat. This is how these capitalist, imperialist scumbags see other people. They don't want them to succeed. They want to shit on them. You either succumb to their uh, monetary system, you know, you accept their multinational corporations, their, their companies coming in and taking your markets over, you know, monopolizing your country essentially and monopolizing your resources, or they will come and fucking bomb you and take it by force. They're gangs. It's, it's, it's crime on an international level. Okay, it's state, state organized crime. And so that is what imperialism is. And of course, you have an element of racism to that as well, naturally. But they want to make sure the Arab world, the Muslim world is divided. And so they do shit like this, right? It's not the only reason. It's, it's not the only reason. You have resources also. You have other geopolitical regions. But it's a main reason. You must, you must understand this. Anyone who tells you otherwise is a fucking moron. Right. This is it is so superficial. It is so easy for, you know, white college professors in the West to come say, oh, well, you know, like these Muslims, they don't like each other. And they have to shut the fuck up, man. This is such a superficial analysis. They're trying to like paint Arabs as like some backwards people who fight about religion. No, 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 no. You are funding fucking terrorist groups for the last decades. You came in after World War One and divided our borders up. Literally white people around a fucking table carving up maps. I mean, what, what the fuck is that? You think that's not going to create conflict? They know exactly what they're doing. They divide and conquer. It's the oldest trick in the book. And unfortunately, when they do these things, innocent people like this die all the time. And this has been the war on terror since the beginning. It's innocent, innocent civilians dying. Millions of refugees from Afghanistan, from Iraq, from Syria, from Libya. Millions of refugees displaced. Their homes destroyed. Their futures destroyed. Their families, their friends destroyed. For what? So some fucking corporate assholes can make money in the United States selling weapons? Fuck you. They murder people and cover it up. And then they have the nerve to talk about democracy. They have the nerve to talk about human rights. They have the nerve to come and wag their fingers in the faces of Africans and Arabs and, and, and Latinos and tell them that, that they're not democratic, that they are uh, dictators. What the fuck? Oh, man, I'm so really, I'm so, I'm so angry and upset about this. They've been doing this for decades and decades and decades and, and people just, they just go along with it, you know?